Hey there, it's Friday, September 9th, about 3.30 p.m., about 30 minutes before the market closes. Um, go ahead and do this video a little bit early. Uh, but I got the S SPY up here, daily chart, and I wanted to point out this kind of mini head and shoulders that's been going on since uh, the big sell-off. And we kind of got this you know, little rally here. You can kind of see how it's drawn. And we're, we're starting to come back down. And this is a potential neckline here. It is angled a bit, which if it does break this, makes the bearish case more because there's more room to fall um, from, the, from the pattern itself. So I wanted to kind of just put um, a little bit of a target on this. If we, if we break, and I'm really looking up at this 112 area as really kind of the neckline, but if we, if we break below this then we're definitely headed lower and I wanted to kind of give you guys some targets for that so first of all just basic head and shoulder stuff um, you would take the high of the head to the neckline and we're going to duplicate that this is the you know if it's a real head and shoulders the minimum that this would fall and this puts us right around the um, 104 area and when I bring in the Fibonacci level here of the recent sell-off draw that in you can see that the extension also goes to the 103 here so this is pretty um, you know and, and that's drawn it to this line if we were to um, you know, kind of give it to where the support's been, that definitely breaks the 27, but we're going to stay consistent here and put it to the low. Um, so, you know, this 103, 104, 105 area, let's just call it 104, you know, this is sort of the downside target if we take this out. And what that's going to coincide with, if we go to a, a two-year chart, let's go back a little farther, let me change this to weekly, um, and that's going to be kind of the low... Uh, partial lows of last summer where right now we're at the highs um, and I've mentioned this in a couple other posts before we're kind of found support at last summer's highs. so if we break this we're looking at potentially last summer's lows which is actually as low as uh, you know 99 which is about let's just call it a thousand on the um, on the S&P 500 so um, a couple of other things I wanted to point out here is some of the uh, market leaders and the biggest one I'm having uh, a problem with that's telling me that we're in a bearish mode is copper and I'm going to look at FCX as a proxy for this um, I mentioned this stock before and you can see that you know there, there's kind of that typical or a similar head and shoulders pattern here but you can see we're already at the lows for copper you know the S&P had a few you know a little bit to go to get down to this this low here but we're already down here so this if copper breaks and I think you know the rest of the market's gonna break um, another one that uh, I've been kind of looking at <clears throat> well uh, some that had relative strength recently are some defensive names you can see AutoZone had been uh, you know kind of climbing here and the idea of AutoZone is people don't buy new cars they get it fixed so this stock does better when people are uh, don't have the money to get new cars, this did not sell off that much today. Um, let's look at consumer staples. Uh, let me bring this in a little bit. Um, had a pretty big sell off today. Uh, McDonald's it just totally fell off a cliff. I had tweeted out I had, I had a, a small uh, small option position in that, and and that I got stopped out actually yesterday on that, but. Um, Healthcare is also selling off. You can see it's still kind of outperforming the market for now. Um, and where the this is the other copper fund. You can kind of see that these defensive names are selling off. And I think what this is, the reason I'm pointing out these defensive names, is that um, as money rotated into the defensive names, let me let me bring up uh, Mastercard. This is a good one. As money rotated into these defensive names, um, and now you're seeing the sell-off there. So, you know, my take is that people are taking profits um, as to where they were making money. And 
you know, if they were making money in Apple, Apple's still, you know, not performing. They're losing money here. Um, that's kind of my take on the macro side of things. Um, MasterCard, I had actually still in a small long position because we broke out. I bought the initial breakout and we pulled back, but I think we're still in this uptrend. So if there's any bulls out there that, that want something to hang on to, I would look at a MasterCard. But if we break this trend line, we're probably coming back down to the uh, below, below 300 here. So uh, that's my quick take on the market this week. Um, let's go back to the SPY real quick. I think if uh, we get down below this 112 level, again, we're headed to one, it's called 104. And we're going to kind of see how that goes next week. All right. Thanks.